Eosinophils are a kind of white blood cell that play a role in homeostasis, as well as in parasite immunity, immunity against infections, as well as even in tumor immunity. Hello, I'm Dr. Michael Wexler, Professor of Medicine at National Jewish Health in Denver, Colorado. I'm here today to discuss an article that will be coming out in a forthcoming issue of the Mayo Clinic Proceedings. The title of our article is Eosinophils in Health and Disease, a State-of-the-Art Review. Our disclosures and the disclosures of my co-authors will be found in the published article. This is an exciting time to really study eosinophils because of all the novel therapies that are emerging and because of all the interesting and exciting information that we've learned over the last several years. What we've recognized over the last several years is that eosinophils not only play a role in terms of homeostasis and in combating a variety of different infections and playing a role in the body's immune response, but also eosinophils play an important pathological role in a variety of different disease entities, including asthma, chronic rhinosinusitis, eosinophilic gastrointestinal disorders, and a variety of different hyper eosinophilic syndromes. Eosinophils play their important pathologic roles by releasing a variety of different mediators and cationic proteins, including eosinophilic cationic protein, major basic protein, eosinophil peroxidase, and eosinophil-derived neurotoxin. All of these different mediators and proteins play a role in terms of inducing inflammation in a variety of different organ systems that can cause tissue pathology and disease in those individuals who are affected. Now, we have novel therapies that can target specific elements of the eosinophil pathways. Eosinophils are derived from the bone marrow, but they're activated and caused to proliferate through the activity of different cytokines, including interleukin-5. Interleukin-5 causes the proliferation, maturation, and activation of eosinophils. And novel therapies that target interleukin-5 play a role in abrogating all of these effects, resulting in a reduction of eosinophils. Just over the last five to seven years, eosinophilic targeted therapies have emerged and have shown to play an effective role in disease entities like eosinophilic asthma, eosinophilic granulomatosis with polyangiitis, chronic rhinosinusitis, and the hypereosinophilic syndromes. While all of this research has emerged and def demonstrated that eosinophils play a role in terms of tissue metabolism, remodeling, development, and neuronal regulation, as well as epithelial and microbiome regulation, it's clear that eosinophils play important roles in all of these different functions. And therefore, the targeting of these, of these specific cells plays an important role in our understanding of these underlying diseases. It's clear that over the next several years, we will understand a lot more about eosinophils and how they function. I'm looking forward to a time when we gain more, more Im important information and greater development of further eosinophil targeted therapies. Thank you so much for joining us today. We hope you enjoy our article. We hope you found this presentation from the content of our website valuable. Our journal's mission is to promote the best interests of patients by advancing the knowledge and professionalism of the physician community. If you are interested in more information about us, our homepage is www.mayoclinicproceedings.org. There you'll find access to information for our social media content, such as additional videos on our YouTube channel or journal updates on Facebook. You can also follow us on Twitter. More information about Healthcare at Mayo Clinic is available at www.mayoclinic.org. This video content is copyrighted by Mayo Foundation for Medical Education and Research.